In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can set up a menu system. Okay, so we're going to create a new replicate as normal. Nice P5JS. I'm just going to call it menu for now and call it whatever you want. And I'm not doing anything particularly special or anything particularly technical or anything like that. I'm just going to go P5 play and import it as normal. Let's get the right website in. I'm going to copy that. So I've got P5 on my project. And just copy that in like that. Get rid of that. And then get rid of all that rubbish. So nothing special at all here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable to store our state. So I'm going to say let state and I'm going to set that to zero. So what basically we're going to do is have it so we've got a bunch of buttons or a button. When we click it, it goes to the next state. So we can just do in here if state equals equals zero, so that's our menu. Menu here, and then else if state equals equals one, and then we can have if state is two or whatever. This could be your levels or whatever it is you want. And we're gonna make a new sprite, so I'm gonna make a button. So let start button, just like that. I'm gonna say start button equals a new sprite, and then obviously I'll just do some things in there so we can see it so put it in positions and then I'm not going to put a collider on there for now and I'll show a nice little button like that maybe it's a bit high up uh, a bit low down sorry and I'm going to say start button dot let's get rid of Grammarly I'm probably going to uninstall it because I don't actually use it anymore um, dot text equals start game let's put some width and height in, so let's say width is 200 and height is 100, like that. Obviously, you can choose color and things like that if you want. And then all we're going to do is if state zero, which is going to be at the start, if start button dot mouse dot pressing, or mouse dot press doesn't really matter what you do, we're just going to do state equals equals one, equals one rather. And then I'm just going to change the background to black. And then if it's in the menu, let's just do a red background. So that should be red with a button in the middle. In fact, let's just do it properly. Let's just do red, full, because it's RGB, so it's red, green, blue. All right, something seems to be work in a minute, so let's figure out that in a minute, but click that. Does it need to be a collider of K? Possibly. Okay, so that's that worked. Let's just move the background because if I'm honest with you anyway, I put it in the wrong place. So it should be red in the background. When I click it, it should go to black. And what I might want to do is just get rid of the Button. So what I could do is create a new button. I could set its visibility. So I think keep it on N. I think it'll be better. And what I could do is just do start button. Spell it right there. Dot remove. Now I could set its visibility to zero. Uh, to none, sorry. Which, yeah, it just needs to be K because it needs to be able to interact with um, the user. But with that. It means that if I if I just remove if I remove it, I, it's not there anymore. But if I decided to stick the game in there and I had colliders, it bounce off the button. The button might move and things. It was dynamic. We don't want that because obviously it's, we don't want it interacting with our game. Um. So what we need to do is just just get rid of that then, and that works. And then just to prove, even though I have proved it, um, I just do a new sprite like that, and this can be our game. So I can quite easily. Copy some of my content from another game, stick it in there, and say oh, it's making new sprites. And that's it, really, really easy. So what you want to do is obviously have like your start menu or whatever. You might have like a menu, uh, a loading screen, sorry, where it just animates I don't know, some sprites on the screen, like the squares or whatever you want. And then what that would do is, you know, have a time of 10 seconds, it just tends to load, fills up a loading bar or something, and then um, you play again. So that's it, really easy, real fast. And um, hopefully that's nice and helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.